Hello guys, my name is Emmanuel. Welcome to my fifth video. Today I'm going to teach you about loops. So just create a new project and let's get started. To start off, let's print our name on the screen, shall we? So we're going to say print Emmanuel Quara. Uh oh. Aha. Uh -huh. So what if I asked you to print your name five times? What would you do? Simple enough, right? Two, three, four, five. Now, what if I said print your name 10 times? Simple, right? I'm just going to copy this, paste. But as you can see, the line of code is growing so much, and we're basically doing the exact same thing over and over again. A concept we have in Swift is an ability to loop. Looping, what it does is it allows us to execute a block of code n number of times. So if I wanted to execute a code 10 times, I'd simply write that particular code once and then run it in a loop. Now in Swift, we actually have different types of loops. We have for in, we have while, we have repeat while. So in this tutorial, I'm going to give examples of how these can be used. Okay. Now, first of all, let's cover for in loop. The for in loop allows us to be able to loop through a range of numbers or a sequence of items. And for us to loop through a range of numbers, we simply follow the format. Let's remove this. We say for, then we have a variable that's going to be available throughout the scope. So I'll just call this uh, num in. And finally, we need to put in our range of numbers. And to do this, Let's put this in the bracket. We need our starting point, call this zero, dot, 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 and our ending point, I'll call this 10. Then you open your bracket and close it. So basically what we're saying here is create a for in loop and I want it to start at index zero and end at index 10. So 10 is going to be inclusive, but Okay, let's print this out and see what it looks like. So I'm going to print num. We run this, and as you can see from here, we have 0 up to 10. Now, there's another way we can do this. If I wanted to go from 0 to less than 10, I'd do this dot dot less than 10. So what this means is 0 to less than 10. So everything between 0 and 10 but zero inclusive. I hope that makes sense. So if I run this, I shouldn't see 10 in our list. Run, and of course that works. So to try out our, our previous example, just replace this with Emmanuel like that. And I run this and you can see we have my name printed 10 times and I can make it a thousand if I wanted, let's just do hundred. And like that, there's no way we can verify this. I'm not going to count it, but <laughs> you can see. Anyways, that's for the for in and range of numbers. So the second way we can do this is to loop through a group of items. And to explain this, I'm going to use this as an example. So let's store this in a constant. Let name equals this. Now, if I wanted to loop through each character here, I could use for, and I'll call this car, in, and put in name like this. So what this is going to do is it's going to loop through each character in this string, and if we wanted, we could print in character. So we should see my name printed character at the time, like that. So that's the beauty of it. So you can actually do a lot of things with this. You could find out if a character is uh, maybe a vowel or a consonant and then print that uh, character. So uh, let's, let's just count occurrences of E just for test sake. So just say if, remember from our last video, decisions. So if our character, and this as you can see from here is not a string. So I'd like to cast it as a string. So if character dot lowercase is equal to e then print 
character. Anyway, I want it to count, so I'll just say var count equals zero and count plus equals one. So what I'm doing here is, first of all, I'm looping through our name. And since this is a character, I'm converting it to a string. And then I'm converting it. And then I'm converting it to a lowercase and comparing like this. Now the reason I'm comparing I'm converting it to a lowercase is because this is an E, but it's capital, and this definitely is not equal to this. So just to be sure. So here Whenever we find an E, we are incrementing our value of count. And here we can say there are count, sorry, count E's, E's, what am I typing today, in the word name. Let's try this out. So of course it works. There are two E's in the word Emmanuel Aquara. You could write some more things like this and I added four, so six. Of course that works. So you see how easy this thing is. If we were writing it the normal way, we would have to pick each character and then check. But with loops, you just have to write your logic inside your, your um, block and allow it to take its course, okay? Now secondly, we're going to cover the while loop. Before then, let's change this to name and we're good. Now let's get down to business. For while loop, right, we have while a condition. I was careful not to make the same mistake. Anyway, so while a condition and then a block of code. So for here, Let's print um, from 0 to, t to 9. So have var, uh, let's call this index, equals 0. Now the condition is going to be index less than 10. So this is going to be from 0 to 9. Okay? So inside here, let's simply print out index. Now, if we were to run this code, we're going to have an infinite loop. And the reason is, we're checking, we want to execute this block of code while index is less than 10, right? And if you look here, index is always going to be 10. So we need to specify a way for index to grow. And to do that, we're just going to say index plus equals 1. So this is going to loop. It's going to print index. It's going to increment the value of index and check again. So at the first time, it's going to be 0 then this become 1, then 2, then 3, like that. So the moment it becomes 10, it's going to check. Is 10 less than 10? It's going to be false, and it's going to break the code. Okay, now let's run this and see what we get. We should see 0 to 9. Awesome. Another loop that we have is the repeat while loop. And it's, it's quite similar to this. The only thing is our condition is at the end of the block. So we have it like this, and here, sorry, we have while, and here we have repeat. Now the difference between repeat while and while loop is that for repeat while, the, the condition is checked after execution of the first um, loop. So basically, it executes at least once. But for a while loop, the condition is checked at the beginning of the execution. So if it is not correct, if the condition is false, it just does not execute the loop. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, let's show it an example. So here, we have index as 0. If we run this, we would get 0 to 9 as well. Fair enough. Now, if we started with 10 and we ran this, we're going to get 10 right but 10 is not less than 10 with a while loop let's undo this with a while loop if we try to run this we're not going to get anything right 
So that's the difference between a while loop and a, and a repeat while loop. While loop checks a condition before execution, but a repeat while loop checks a condition after the first execution. Okay? Great. I believe this is a good point to mention two things, break and continue. Whenever we want to exit early from a loop, we use a break statement. So I'm just going to say if, let's, let's exit this loop whenever we encounter a 5. So if index is equal to 5, then we use the word break. Okay, so let's start this from 1 and execute. So we're going to get from 1 down to 4. So that's what break is. But for um, continue, whenever it encounters a five, it's going to skip the next. It's going to skip to the next loop. So I'm going to bring this print statement down to here, and we're going to use continue this time around. So print, and if you notice here, we can't see a five, and that's because when it encountered a five, it's exited this particular um, version of the loop and went to the next so it just did not do any of this I hope that makes sense anyway if you have any confusion please leave it in the comments uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe okay so guys see you in the next video